Okay, we're back on the planer again. I've uh, removed the top uh, clapper box and, and arm off of the carriage. And my problem is, is this key here, it's not the original one, but uh, the one the same size, only shorter, apparently was missing from inside this mechanism here. And I don't know why it fell out, but the only thing that I see is holding it, and I'm not really sure that's the cause of it, because it's round, was down inside here you can see the keyway, and almost to the other end, there looks like a round post sticking up. But it's flat with the bottom of the, um, can see that or not it's flat and I can slide this keyway all the way up and down it and it what I'm thinking is the keyway that was there had that round protrusion on the side of it and this key stuck into that hole and that captured it and kept it from going up and down the only other thing I could think of was maybe it was bent up here and it kept it from falling out but I don't see any indication of that. This is kind of a neat assembly. This head can go up and down either by uh, the crank up here or by the gear system in here and up and down this screw. Well, the screw's got a slot in it that that key rides in and it in fact, this is a two power input. The top one rotates interior and in, in, in those threads right there attach to this and make it come up and down as you're turning the threads. This attachment point rotates via the gear system and is basically independent of this and drives that screw by this key. So no matter what you do, either turning it with a handle, it attaches here and moves it up and down and lets this uh, float free if it's in neutral. And this part, if it's in drive, will turn via the key and ride along on that. It's kind of a neat system be able to do two inputs at once. The question is how do I fix it? For about six months I've been just realigning it by feel and putting this key back in and it would stay in there a while and then it'd slip out and then I have to redo it. So I need to come up with a way to make this key stay in that slot and I'm not really 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 super sure what that peg is for in there. It looks to be, and, and this thing looks like it's missing uh, one of the uh, Allen set screws. Both of them have it at 90 degrees, but that one's gone. It looks like to be able to get in there and see what that post is, I'm going to have to take the Allen screws here take that gear off, drop the shaft down to the other side, which is, I've got it raised up, that's, that's the bottom there. Undo this last screw over here and probably screw this off and push this out to be able to get in there and see what's going on. Anybody else has another idea? Let me know. Overall, it's in pretty good shape. I uh, had a uh, six inch scale off of a, a lathe that I was using attached to it so that I could accurately set the depth 
but I found that just a six inch scale limited the travel of this and so I'd have to back off all the time and raise the arm up and down. So I purchased a uh, 12 inch scale with a remote head on it. And so I'm going to mount it much the same way I did that other one and with this I was able to do very good work. So as soon as I get the head put back together, I'll have to mount this on there somehow. All right, that's all for now.